This is Code Combat. I'm working on Computer Science 2, the JavaScript version of the course, and right now I'm on a concept challenge. Sacred Glade. Concept challenge goal. Protect the sacred meadow from ogres. Okay. This is a concept challenge. Use if else statements to protect the sacred glade from ogres. Your task is simple. If you see an enemy, then attack it. Otherwise, return to the red X. Start the challenge. Ooh, no code here. All right, let's see what these comments say. And remember, comments aren't read by the computer. They're just there for humans. The slash slash means comment. Don't let an ogre come close to the center. If you see an ogre, attack it. Otherwise, move to the red X. Okay. So what we would want to do first then is make a variable enemy or whatever we want to call our enemy, but I'll just call our enemy enemy equals find hero dot find nearest enemy. Okay. So what this is going to do is our hero is going to look around. If our hero sees someone, it, enemy is that person. If our hero doesn't, enemy is nothing. This is creating a variable in math, like x plus 1 equals 3. Well, if x plus 1 equals 3, x equals, well, x equals 2. x represents a number. Here, enemy could be like x. It is going to represent whatever our hero sees. So we make this thing called enemy. I'm actually going to call it Fred. Right? I'm changing it. That's fine. So my variable Fred is going to equal hero find nearest enemy. If our hero sees an enemy, that enemy's new name is Fred. If our hero sees no one, Fred then is equal to nothing, is equal to no one. So let ogre come by to the center. If you see an ogre, attack it. Otherwise, move to the red X. So if, and then I assume they mean, they mean this red X? Hmm. I can't tell if this is something I'm holding. Yeah, let's go ahead and say this red X, which is 3024. Okay, and so if, we're gonna use an if statement. I'm gonna click on this. So if enemy, well, I changed mine. I called my enemy Fred, or I called my variable Fred. So I need to do a Fred here. If you left it as enemy, leave this as enemy. So if Fred exists is what this says. Because again, if I look around, I created this variable Fred. If I look around, if my hero looks around and sees nothing, Fred equals nothing then. So we use if to say if Fred equals something. Does Fred equal something? Did my hero look around and find an enemy? Because if he did, then Fred will equal something. But if it equals nothing, we don't want to waste the attack. We're not going to attack. So that's what we're checking with if. If Fred, hey, does this exist? Or did our hero say, nope, nothing here? If Fred, that's when we attack. Remember, we always do need to attack ogres twice. So I'm going to do so. Now, I renamed my enemy to Fred. I renamed my variable Fred. So I have to be consistent. You could have left all of this as enemy, and it should work the same. Now, it wants us to do this repetitively, right? It wants us to look around for an enemy. If there's an enemy attack, otherwise return to our spot. So I know right away, oh, maybe I should put the return back here. Move X, Y. Remember, there's an invisible X and Y graph. X goes left to right, just like in math. An X and X goes left to right. Y goes up and down or vertically. So if you go way over here, you can even see this invisible graph behind the game. Zero, zero is over here. But it looks like our hero wants to be on 30, 24. So I'm going to, X is always first. So that was 30. And then Y was 24. Okay. Whoops. Now I know I want to repeat this. So if I'm going to repeat something, what do I always have to do? I need to put it all inside the brackets of a wall true loop. Because anything between this bracket and that bracket repeats forever. So I'm going to go ahead and cut. And paste. Oops, that looks a little weird. Let me fix that up. There we are. So let's see how this goes.
Ooh, these ogres take lots of hits. You know what? It looks like they're taking four. Let's see if that does it. I'm going to do some more hits here. Ah, they are taking four hits. These are tough ogres. Okay, let's try that then. Oh, and notice we get healed each time we return to the X. Great, mission accomplished. 